Hey, what's up everybody? Dr. Strong here. And today I want to talk to you about something that we're seeing commonly in our clinic, and that is called alcohol induced neuropathy. Now, alcohol induced neuropathy is just like it sounds. And it's when somebody drinks so much alcohol that they start getting robbed of B vitamins, the central nutrients that they need in order to have proper nerve function. And in this video, we're going to be talking about ways to overcome that and then just some signs and symptoms that you should really be aware of if you're having excessive drinks throughout the week, if you're drinking almost every night, if you're also a diabetic, if you've had back trauma, we're going to go through all of that. So please like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That way you'll get more information about how we treat these types of issues. And then also check out my other videos about neuropathy because it can be very complex when we're talking about treating and reversing it. But we do have a 97% success rate in actually reversing neuropathy. So neuropathy is uh, usually indicated by tingling numbness or burning in the hands or the feet. And it causes a lot of pain and discomfort. A lot of people lose sleep. They can't go on walks. The worst case scenario is that people end up in wheelchairs or they have to have amputations later on. The great news is, is that we can actually reverse these processes. So we give the body all the things that it needs to heal and we give it the ability to take control and reverse the demyelination that occurs with any type of diabetic neuropathies, alcohol-induced neuropathies, or even spinal-induced neuropathies. So if you're somebody who is having these signs and symptoms, you really want to sit down and ask yourself, what is causing this to happen? A lot of people that come into the office always say, I'm not diabetic, so I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know why I'm having these neuropathy type symptoms. And just because you aren't a diabetic doesn't mean that you can't develop peripheral neuropathy. And just like we said, there are many reasons. Now, alcohol-induced neuropathy typically results in the loss of B vitamins, especially thiamine. That's your main one, and then cobalamin. So when we're drinking alcohol, what happens is that these B vitamins aren't absorbed and we get these nutritional deficiencies. And B vitamins are essential when it comes to keeping the myelin sheath healthy, which is just the coating around the nerves. And as that starts to degenerate, what will happen is that you get the associated symptoms that look like tingling, numbness, and burning. So to reverse this, one, you have to stop drinking alcohol. That is essential. If you keep doing what's causing the issue, then you're going to keep having the same results. So stopping or at least limiting the amount of alcohol that you're drinking is the first step. Now you can also supplement with B vitamins in order to make up for this deficit, which can help restore the myelin sheath around it. The other issue is that if you are destroying not only the nerves, but the blood vessels around the nerves, then that can take a lot longer to heal. And what will happen is that not also along with the myelin sheath degeneration is that you won't be getting oxygen and you won't be able to get those B vitamins to the nerves. So with that, you have to look at reestablishing blood flow. This is common in peripheral artery disease as well. So there are actually ways that you can regrow the blood vessels and you can actually cause angiogenesis through certain infrared light therapies. Now, you also have to re-educate the nerves because when they're going through this process, they become erratic and because they are deprived of oxygen and deprived of nutrients, they start screaming out, causing the symptoms that we see. And what you have to do is you have to do some type of re-education through electrical stimulus and that can help, one, reduce the body-based pain, but it can also help reduce the brain-based pain as well. So with this, if you know somebody or if you're wondering why you're having neuropathy and you're drinking alcohol, then you really want to look at reducing that and seeing if your symptoms get better. Now, 
when we start to see degeneration, if we see anything greater than 10% in nerve function loss, then we want to address that as soon as possible. Once it starts progressing, it's very fast and it looks a little bit different for everybody, but peripheral neuropathy can progress very fast and that will end up leading to amputation or wheelchairs and we've seen it happen multiple times. So getting ahead of this and taking action is very critical to your health and to your longevity and quality of life. So if you're having those issues, please make sure that you're taking care of your body, looking at the warning signs and doing everything that you can to prevent it. So if you want to learn more about neuropathy, go check out some of my later videos. I have a lot of information about what causes um, blood sugar imbalance, diabetes and peripheral neuropathy, spinal stenosis and peripheral neuropathy, and things that you can do to reverse these. And then also from a nutritional standpoint, what you can do. So if you have any questions, please just comment below, like and share. If you enjoyed this video, comment with any feedback that you have or questions that you have, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.